Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video, my name is Floppy and today guys I'm going to be showing you how to make an E to prompt a Roblox Premium. Just before the video begins I'd like to announce that my Roblox game has now been released, Fish Magnet Simulator. The whole point in the game is you run around with a fishing net, collecting fish which you are then able to sell for coins, then to purchase eggs, buy better buckets with more capacity, and also fishing nets that can give you a wider range. If you did want to go check out the game, the link to the game is in the description. So for starters, you're going to want to make sure Explorer and Properties are enabled. If Explorer and Properties are not enabled, you want to head up to the top bar here, click on View, and then enable Explorer and Properties, and they should show up somewhere over your screen. Once you've enabled Explorer and Properties, you now want to go and insert your part, which is going to be holding the E button. So now that you've inserted your part, which is going to be holding the proximity prompt, we want to go and adjust it. So for this tutorial, I'm going to make it kind of like a button. And then I'm also going to go and anchor it so it can't be pushed around. So make sure to anchor it and then go customize your part. Once you've finished customizing your part, you want to click on the plus button next to the part and insert a proximity prompt. You then can go and adjust a couple of things in your proximity prompt properties, like the max activation distance, or the hold duration someone needs to hold the E button for, to then be prompted to buy premium. So we're just going to be setting this to one second. So the player has to hold E for one second until they are prompted the Roblox premium. So once you've added your proximity prompt into your part, you want to click on the plus button next to your proximity prompt and insert a script. You now want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that is in the description, bring it back to Roblox Studio, remove all the previous code and then paste in the new code. Luckily for this tutorial, we don't need to go and change anything, so we want to head up here, click on the X next to the script to go save it, and then we want to go click on play to go test it out. As you guys can see, we are now in the base play, and if I hold down E for one second, we'll be prompted to buy premium. As you guys can see, we have now been prompted to buy premium and we are able to click on subscribe, which will basically take us to the Roblox transaction page where we will then be able to purchase premium. But if someone says, oh, no, no, I don't want to purchase premium, they can also click X up here to close the prompt. Now, if you would like to see more Roblox Studio videos like these, make sure to consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell so you're notified every single time we upload a new video. If you guys are a little bit lost or you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to create a ticket to my Discord server and we will happily help you out. But anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy it, I'd appreciate if you do consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell and also do consider liking the video, I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see everyone in the next video.